Do I even have to warm this thing up? What's up guys, Sergio here, back with another video and today we're going to be doing another food review and today we're going to be reviewing La Viva's Spaghetti. So this is spaghetti made from organic shiitake pasta with oat fiber and I'm really excited to try this because um, the main reason is how low in calorie this thing is. 15 calories per serving, 15 calories and if you want to look at the, and if we look at the back of the nutrition facts, there's only four servings in the bag, so that means that there's only 60 total calories in this bag. I don't even believe it. I really just don't believe it. So I'm really curious about how this is going to taste. It is uh, keto certified, vegan certified, soy free, uh, halal, if I'm pronouncing that right, which I had to look that up, but basically it's uh, prepared accordingly to um, Islamic law. Uh, so uh, I thought that was interesting, uh, non-GMO. Uh, gluten certified, organic, yeah, this thing's got it all. Going further, look at the macros on this. It's uh, 15 calories, so a fourth of a pack package is a serving, which is about three and a half ounces, and you know, four servings per container, which I already said. Zero grams of fat, four grams of carbs, um, and zero grams of protein. The ingredients is just four. You have water, organic konjac flour, I don't know how to pronounce that, oat fiber, and citric acid. When it says as far as cooking it, it says you're supposed to uh, yeah, rinse it thoroughly and drain, squeeze excess water out, dry with paper towels, serve with your favorite sauce or vegetables. Do I even have to warm this thing up? Yeah, I think I can eat this thing raw or eat it cold if I really wanted to, but I want to heat it up and like probably add some tomato sauce to it. And if it tastes decent, I think I just found a really good diet snack and something that I'll probably be using when I compete next time because I mean, 60 calories for a whole bag of pasta, uh, you can't beat that. All right, enough talking, let's try this thing out. All right guys, I am back, ready to try this thing out. So I just warmed it up for 30 seconds. I did rinse it, uh, like they said. I didn't really bother drying it so much, but uh, I did rinse it in the strainer. So um, I did that and uh, I added a little bit of tomato sauce to it. So this is what it looks like, if you guys can see that. I didn't mix the uh, tomato sauce in because I wanted to kind of taste the noodle first by itself to see how it tasted and then I'll mix it in with the pasta. So here we go, I'm just trying to get some without any sauce. There it is, nice and white. All right, it is very, very chewy. That's the first thing I noticed. Uh, it doesn't really taste like anything. Oh, that was a weird texture. I'm gonna try to mix it up with a little bit of pasta. See if that helps. Whoa. One second. So, uh, definitely did not taste the way I was expecting. Um, kind of disappointed. And so, there can be a number of things I did wrong here. And maybe somebody watching this video, you've had this type of pasta and you're probably just like yelling at the uh, screen saying like I'm totally preparing this wrong. And I probably am because I have no idea what I'm doing. but. I didn't really try to cook this. I mean, it kind of looks like it's already cooked, like it comes in water. It's not like a like a hard pasta noodle. So, you know, I would, you would think you have to do little to no like cooking it, uh, but maybe that's my problem, but this was incredibly chewy. Like, I don't know if anybody's had like cal calamari. It's like that, but even way, but, but way worse. Like it's just so chewy. It doesn't break down at all when I was chewing it. I just, I couldn't even finish that last bite. That's where I was, I just, I just couldn't fin finish it. Uh, it just was not breaking down and uh, it's disappointing because uh, I think that something this low in calorie would be great and if there's a way to make it so that it would just break apart easier then we would be in good shape. And so maybe if I was supposed to, you know, if I stir fried it or something like that, it would be better. Uh, and you know, maybe I'm just not supposed to eat as raw, but when you look at the, uh, some of the ingredients on there, it says create delicious hot or cold soups. You know, it says you can eat this stuff cold, so 
to me that means that you don't have to cook, cook it and maybe cooking wouldn't really make that much of a difference. So um, yeah, if I'm missing something, uh, you know, you guys let me know, but uh, it, I'm, this is definitely gonna be a downvote for me. And you know, they have a few different things, like they have spaghetti, I think they have like a fettuccine, like a flatter looking noodle. But now I don't really even wanna try those. So I'm thinking that those are probably gonna be just as chewy and rubbery. Uh, it's just, yeah, extremely rubbery. Like it's it's like eating like rubber bands. Like it doesn't break down at all. I would've been chewing that thing forever. And I probably would've gotten to the point where I started getting nauseous because, you know, nobody wants to chew on something that doesn't break down in their mouth. Uh, please try this out yourselves and you guys let me know what you think if you had the same experience. That's gonna be it for this video. Um, if you guys did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. I don't think I've ever been so let down in a food review. I think this is probably the biggest letdown because I had such high expectations for it.